Wszyscy mówili. For many of you, the state of the world is not exactly a positive one. You turn on your TV and get a constant flow of bad news on a daily basis. In many countries, you see the outbreak of war and the fear of terrorism has become a part of everyday life. You see thousands of people losing their jobs and unemployment is at an all-time high. People seem more violent towards each other and you don't even feel safe in your own home. But is this really the world you live in? I guess with the amount of negative information we are bombarded with on a daily basis, you would be considered crazy to think otherwise. But if being crazy is what it takes for me to change your mind, then sign me up. I'm about to show you a world that doesn't exist on the news or in conversation with your friends and family. You see, the world I live in is based on statistical facts and not on fear and manipulation. There is no denying that bad things happen, but the media of today is so intent on keeping you in a perpetual state of fear that the world you see is the one they want you to see. They purposely feed you negative stories because sadly, it's the bad news that keeps your mind captive. Did you know that all of the casualties from wars over the last 20 years are minuscule in comparison to the 75 million lives that were lost in World War I and II combined? Not to mention the 46 million people that died in subsequent wars in the next 20 years post World War II. You are currently living in the most peaceful time ever recorded in human history and yet you are constantly told otherwise. Oppressed citizens are using technology and social media to organise powerful and effective protests all over the world. And as delusional and absurd as it might seem, statistics show that we are actually headed towards a more peaceful and harmonious future, and in my opinion, there has never been a better time to be alive. Let's now discuss the truth about terrorism and why I believe it's one of the most powerful fear-mongering tools of the modern age. The fact is that terrorism has been around for a very long time going all the way back to the 1800s. The only difference nowadays is that due to modern technology, terrorist attacks are instantly reported and beamed to our TVs, computers, mobile tablets, phones and over a multitude of different social platforms. But if you had to take a guess, what do you think the odds are of you or your family ever being directly affected by a terrorist attack? A data scientist recently explained the odds of someone dying in a terrorist attack are so ridiculous that you would have a better chance of winning the lottery. To show you how absurd this fear is, let's examine the odds of some other unfortunate ways you could possibly die. The chances of you drowning in a bathtub are 1 in 685,000. Dying by choking on your food is about 1 in 370,000. The odds of being killed by a falling coconut is 1 in 250,000. Now you're probably thinking, the odds of dying in a terrorist attack would have to be more probable than being killed by a falling coconut, right? Well, your assumptions couldn't be further from the truth, because the odds of dying in any kind of terrorist attack are a whopping 1 in 9.3 million. And in case you're worried about a terrorist attack occurring while you're in the air, the odds increase significantly to 1 in 25 million. So the next time you're on a tropical island, I would be way more apprehensive about the coconuts hovering over your head than the suspicious looking Arab sitting next to you on a plane. So what about unemployment? Is the job market really that bad? Whenever I have this discussion with people, I always hear the same depressing mantra. They either live in fear of losing the job they have or complain that there are not enough jobs to go around. The fact of the matter is, there isn't a shortage of work but rather a shortage of skilled workers. 
If that wasn't bad enough, a large portion of the younger generation today, otherwise known as millennials, strongly feel they're entitled to everything including a high-paying job for a minimal amount of work. Or how about the laid-off factory worker that has had the same job for the past 20 years and during this time never bothered to further his skill set by taking the odd course here and there? The world is changing and constantly moving forward, and if you don't move with it, you will be left behind. An estimated 1 million jobs in the technology sector will go unfilled by 2020, according to a report put forth by Microsoft in 2012. But the advantages of living in today's world gives you an opportunity to study online and gain the skills you need to get the job you want. Websites like edx.org and the Khan Academy offer free courses for anyone that wants to learn. Other websites like lynda.com and Treehouse offer video-based courses for a small monthly fee which in my opinion is worth every single dollar. You need to understand that knowledge is power. And as billionaire Warren Buffett states, the more you learn, the more you'll earn. You are living in a time where even a child has the opportunity to develop an idea into a multi-million dollar company. At what point in history has this ever been possible? Concepts like crowdfunding give ordinary people a chance to turn their dreams into reality. Google, Facebook and a number of other companies are working on projects that will one day make it possible for the internet to be accessible by every person on the planet. Did you know that there are currently 4.5 billion people that have little to no access to the internet? But just imagine the economic prosperity and free education these projects will provide once they're up and running. So the next time you think that jobs are declining, you better think twice. Because the world has never had a more level playing field when it comes to doing what you love and getting paid for it. The opportunities are within your reach, but you need to get off your ass and do something about it. But what about the increase in violence and crime, you might ask? If you really think that there is more crime today than, say, 20 years ago, you need to switch off the news and start doing some serious research. Contrary to what the media forces down your throat, crime rates have been continually declining since the 90s. Statistics show that many places in the Western world are actually safer today than they were even as far back as the 1950s. In the United States alone, murder and crime in general have dropped by 50% and yet people still live in fear because reporting the truth doesn't get ratings. In 1997, over 400,000 vehicles were stolen in England and Wales. By 2012, this number had dropped to only 86,000. Prisons all over the world are closing down because there's just not enough criminals to fill the cells. In 2015, the Netherlands shut down 19 prisons because the national crime rate had fallen to such a low level. According to a report that was put out by the FBI and US Department of Justice, the rates of violent crime in the US are now at their lowest level in 40 years. Yet note how little media attention this type of positive news attracts. Over a 20-year period from 1995 to 2014, violent crime in the United States has fallen from 1.8 million to 1.2 million crimes per year. Keep in mind that the US population in 1995 was only 266.3 million, whereas the population in 2014 was at 318.6 million. Recently, my own mother was expressing her concerns regarding the overwhelming increase in crime and how she no longer feels safe even walking over to the local mall. So I proceeded to ask her, in the 32 years that you have lived in the same property, have you ever been attacked while walking anywhere in your neighborhood? To which she replied, never. The point I'm trying to make here is just because you see horrible crimes reported on a daily basis doesn't mean that you should live your life in constant fear and stop going about your normal day. I am not oblivious to the fact that crimes do occur, but for the most part, if you keep your nose out of trouble and don't mix with the wrong crowds, chances are you're less likely to be a victim of violent crime. Did you know that according to quantum physics, we are all energetic beings and whatever energy we put out into the world, we are more than likely to get back. 
So if this happens to be the fear of being attacked by a violent criminal, you will eventually bring this into your life. Your life is an amazing gift and living in fear of what could or might happen is in my opinion a total waste of that life. Make a daily conscious effort to see the good in people and not automatically assume the worst in them. Do this one thing and life as you know it will change for the better and it sure beats living in fear of crimes that will most likely never happen. It's time to wake up and stop being a slave to the media propaganda that is designed to keep you from ever reaching your full potential. It's time to wake up and realize that your reality is a direct result of what you think and feel and not what you see in front of you. The world you live in is an amazing place and whether you choose to believe this is entirely up to you. But I can guarantee that if for just one day you made a conscious decision to focus on every positive thing you see, it would probably be the happiest day of your life. Your negative state of mind is a product of indoctrination and by unplugging yourself from the constant flow of bad news, you will finally be able to see the world for what it truly is, full of love, joy and endless possibility. I thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification icon. Until next time, please take care and always be good to each other.